Hello everybody, my name is Rose and I welcome you to the Rose Tarakals. Today we will be doing the reading for the Festival of Energy, which is Taurus and Gemini. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? Now, if this is the case with you, please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, I thank the Source, I thank the Universe, I thank all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light, for guiding me to finally share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So the cusp of energy, let's get started. Right, a blessing heart, made with them, meditated and everything is ready for a good treat. So I'm just looking at the camera so that I knew, I know you can view your cards. That's a bit better, isn't it? Right. Just give me a moment while I take a look at your cards. So, hmm. oh, looks like someone over here. Whoever this reading is for is highly awakened or is going through an awakening process. But from the looks of it, I feel this person has been through an awakening process. Yeah, and is their, intu their intuition, sorry. The intuition, your intuition is on point with whatever you're doing, alright? So right now, yeah, by the looks of it, whoever this person is, is concentrating on their money or is turning away towards finding new avenues with concerns to you know, uh, building a new life. Very concentrated on building a new life. Hmm? This requires you, or required you in your past, to have a lot of strength moving ahead. Hmm? Because
give me a moment. Mm. Yes. You're passionately moving towards your dreams. Mm. But there's a lack of finances here from the looks of things, right? And you're hoping to be awarded or to find a way towards making your dream come true. Perhaps it's costing a lot of money, you know, whatever you want to invest in, yeah? So you're finding a way to find the right investors or the right place to invest in with the little you have so that it grows. But for the moment, you're feeling a bit of lack. So maybe it's more than what you had thought the investment would be. You may have planned for, for about, say, um, investing a little bit of money and which you thought was enough but when it comes down to it from what you can what you came to find out it was much more and now you're finding a way or you're working on finding a way to make it happen with the little you have or working on finding a way to get investors right In your past, by the looks of it, you have been through an, an awakening process because this must have taken a lot of your time, a lot of your money, whatever you're into. Hmm? There may have been some, ooh, what do you call it, um, a losses. You might have come across a few losses in the sense you may have misjudged, as it was proven before, the outcome of a situation. Hmm? And now you have to work on it to make it a success. Right? But whatever it is, yeah, your intuition is on point with whatever you're doing. So be compassionate with yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Be compassionate. Yeah, but things will work out. Be positive. Yes. This is something that you love. This is a passion that you have. And this is a passion you want to pursue. And this definitely has something you do with love as well. You have wisened up a bit from your past experiences. Hmm? You are able to recognize the people who are with you and the people who are not. Yeah. The situation was like a revelation for you. Whatever you had to go through in your past was like a revelation. So the people who were not good for you have been weeded out of your life. And the people who have supported you in this journey so far are the ones who will carry on with you into your future. But in saying that, you are now aware of the true colors, you could say, true colors of the people who are around you and the people who are faithful towards you. Whether it be in your personal life, in your work, career, you know, it is something that you wanted to do and you are going to pursue it. There is no doubt that you are going to pursue it, but it has come to light the true colors of the people around you. Yes, yeah, you may have gone through some grief, some misfortunes as well, yeah, with regards to that past of endeavor, what you're going, what you have invested in. Hmm. This has made you cold. This has made you cold, uncaring, calculated, you know, you've actually shut your heart. You don't trust anybody, you do not, uh, you're very careful with everybody you speak with, what you speak with them, but it's not from a space of 
love or compassion or any type of stuff. You know, it's uh, any type of sort. I mean, um, it's more from a place of being stone cold. You know, so you might come across as very harsh. Maybe you need to learn to temper your emotions a bit because of your past disappointments, whatever it was in your life, you have turned out to be very cold and calculated. Uncaring for people's emotions, spewing words perhaps that hurt them because you have been hurt. So, well, from what I can see, you will have to learn to temper your emotions, to project it, you know, and to channel it in the right way, towards the right things. Try and be more compassionate, yeah, not so cold-hearted. It may have affected it may have affected if you're married, if you're in a long-term relationship or live-in partnership, yeah? a long-term commitment, but right? it may have affected your long-term commitment as well. Mm? You are asked by the universe to center yourself, to find your balance, yeah? to loosen up a bit. Have a bit of patience, whatever you're working on. Have a bit of patience. Don't be so aggressive. Because perhaps you may think that, you know, in this world we have to be aggressive, this and that, you know, otherwise things don't happen. But sometimes, if you be a bit too aggressive, you could end up losing everyone around you. Yes? You may not realize it, but when you do, Perhaps it may be too late. And the situation will have got out of hand and um, irreparable, you could put it that way. Right? So, I can see you're coming out of your uh, melancholy. You want to get some excitement into your life. Even though, you know, it was a heartbreaking situation, I think your marriage could have been affected as well. It was a long-term commitment, right? This long-term commitment could have been affected as well because of all the things that happened in your past. Bruised, battered, you're almost at the end, right? And it's either you or your partner that's walking away from your relationship. So. This is the classic case of where work, work life is interfering with your personal life. I know people say you've got to keep it separate, but it is inevitable because you're one human being, right? You're not two human beings, one for work and one for personal life. You're one human being, so that is why there has to be a bit of balance. You cannot remove the frustrations from work on your partner and they are not responsible for it, right? Neither can you do the same vice versa, remove the frustrations of your personal life on your work. Hmm? There has to be a balance, there has to be a way to channel your energy correctly. If there's some frustration in work, sort it out there. Do not get it back to your family life. But, from what I can see, it's been overlapping. Plus, maybe a lot of other problems may have arisen. You know your story best. This is a general reading, so I wouldn't want to say too much, right? So, you're hoping against hope that whoever has walked away comes back to you. But I think that person, whoever it was, may have reached the end. You're hoping, yes. You're hoping they come back to you and you'll get back together again. So perhaps it's time to express your love, yeah? Maybe it's time for you to go ahead and make a romantic gesture to your person whom you lost in all this melee of your life. Hmm? 
it must have been a tough situation for me to read the cards is quite easy but for you to go through it it must have been a really tough situation where it got really messed up right take some time out for yourself if you can take your partner out you know just to have silly talks nothing about your past nothing about your present just be friends you know what i mean if they want to talk let them talk you know listen sometimes it helps to listen funny part is if you are just blessed with ears eyes all the senses but we should ask ourselves how many times do we actually really use it most of the times we use it only when we want to <laughs> you know but not otherwise and that's when the breakdown happens so go out have fun go out with your friends you know if you're stuck in that environment worrying to depth you know about your situation and if things are going to work out whether in your prof professional life and your family life it has affected both areas of your life that situation whatever it was hmm? so go out have fun have drink or two you know with your friends have a bit of a chat have a bit of a banter you know about silly things don't let this affect you too much okay don't let it take over your life. Go out in nature, you know, among trees, amongst plants, amongst colorful things, amongst greenery. Yes? Don't stay too long in depression. You're going down that road, I can see. Hmm. Very good. So I can see you in your future trying to concentrate to bring back your, uh, uh, to bring back some balance into your life. Hmm? And you will be um, finding your balance, which is quite good. Because I can see you will start to serve yourself, take things, take the days one day at a time, do things one thing at a time, and concentrate and channel your energy in the right way, towards the right things. Mm? Your sixth chakra, which is Archangel Metatron, that's your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is been activated. Give me a moment, please. Let me place my phone over there. Creativity is going to start flowing in your future, so your new ideas, new plans, new ways of doing things is going to be activated. Yeah, you're going to be a productive member of society, right? So whatever dreams and plans you had over here that came to a bust, yeah, that came to a standstill or didn't work out, you will find new ways and new plans and new avenues to push it forward in, okay, you will be healed, you will be healed from the past and your life will be healed as well because once you get your balance and once you find a way to make things work, yeah, I can see it's finances that's affecting you, it's probably carried on into your love life, into your personal life, into your commitments as well, personal commitments, probably you were not able to fulfill certain things and you know it led to your downfall because probably you couldn't cope and you instead of speaking it out you started venting out your energy in the wrong way and lashing out at small things perhaps it does happen yeah so it must have caused, caused a lot of drift which you did not understand perhaps you thought it was not your fault but it affected the people around you even though they were trying to help you and because of you being so stone cold and harsh and very rude coming across very rude somebody over here came across very rude right 
and that has caused a lot of breakdown in many relationships in your life, in somebody's life. Yeah, once your sacral chakra is activated, you will be presented with a lot of options, a lot of ideas, creative ideas, new designs, new avenues to explore, etc., etc. You will be on fire. Hmm? You will be on fire. Your passion towards your work or whatever you're into will be activated. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be, um, even though you're a bit worried of what happened in the past, you're worried about it repeating yourself. You're raring to go. I'll tell you one thing though. Let go of any control issues you have. Let it go. You cannot control the situation. The situation is out to be controlled. Leave it in God's hands. Leave it in the universe's hands. Right? Once you let go and say, there's nothing more I can do about this, you know. God, please help me in the universe. You know, I leave it up to you. You will receive communication. You will receive some kind of communication, some kind of news. Yes, you will not be waiting anymore. Because, I'll tell you, you will be presented with an offer. Yeah? Which will bring you out of your bad days. But you will have to review the offer. Because you're not so clear on it. So if you're going to sign any documents, any contracts, make sure you look at the fine print. Yeah, make sure you safeguard your future interests. If you're going to sign a deal or merge, mm, you're going to sign a deal or merge up with another company, with another partner. Right. Make sure you take a look at the fine print. Make sure of the interests, if they are valid interests, in terms of investment. Okay? Yes. Yes. Justice will be served. You will find, you will find your way in making things work. Mm? It's all good. But, I will request you, whatever you do, listen to your intuition. It's very important that you listen to your intuition and follow your gut instinct. Hmm? Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the people you love and who loves you that you are affecting negatively. Yeah, Because over a period of time, negativity gets once it seeps in mm, it's very good uh, very difficult to get out of it because you're dealing with so many different energies around you your family your children your parents your relatives whoever is involved in your life your investors if you're going to put it all together you know so be truthful, be compassionate, you know, channel your negativity away from your family, away from your home, yeah, conduct your business outside your home, hmm? once it's done, when you come home, if you discuss with your wife or your partner, yes, discuss with them, but do not get heated over it. If you do not discuss it, just enjoy your family life, right? But whatever it is, I see here, at the end of it all, yeah, whenever it is in October, end of October, November, when you're signing a deal, yeah, whatever you're working towards will come through and it will be a success. But you are required to pay attention to the fine print in your contracts or, you know, whatever you're moving ahead with. Move ahead, basically, move ahead carefully, yeah, because you've been in the past, perhaps deceived of an opportunity with, uh, when it came, not deceived, lost, lost an opportunity due to many mistakes uh, in work, it was to do with finances, 
it is clearly everything to do with your finances yes which affected your family life as well so next time you get this opportunity with your finances yeah make sure you do it correctly be careful be alert and move uh, slowly step by step do not rush into things okay that's what I have for you let's ask Archangel Michael mm. what message he has for you Archangel Michael says you're guarded and protected and you created this situation you have the power to change it there you go he says you have created the situation and you have the power to change it please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael thank you for protecting me my loved ones and ensuring that we are safe and that all our needs are met I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance right there you go you created the situation yeah if anything is upset in your life in your personal life especially you created it you have the power to change it all right be compassionate be loving be kind now I picked up three guidance cards for you so in the the guidance message in the area of servant leadership it says true wealth true wealth is to love and be loved by loving we attract love love is a thread that holds us all together unconditional love so Express your love to your family and loved ones. Hmm? For personal growth, you receive the guidance message, Awakening the Spirit. Yoga aims to awaken your immortal spiritual nature while you are still living within this mortal body and mind. Do a bit of meditation, take a bit of alone time, you know, spend uh, time understanding yourself. Um, introspecting your life you know patterns and how things have been and how things have been going on and due to what etc etc because I can see from the past over here you have been you have gone to a phase of awakening spiritual awakening so if you're still on the path I um, would advise you take time out to yourself and understand and acknowledge the happenings around you and inject a bit of positivity in your life right if you have if you are positive you will affect others positively as well as well as affect your life and future situations in a positive manner right so for relationships receive the guidance message of tolerance Preserving loving relations in this world requires forgiveness, tolerance, patience, gratitude, and humility. The tendency to judge others is often a symptom of insecurity, immaturity, or selfishness. Right? That's what you are. Was, that's what your situation may be turned into judgmental perhaps so maybe it's time you drop it or somebody over here drops that mentality yeah or that view on life and move ahead with a bit of patience tolerance gratitude and humility all right that's all I have for you for the month of September and October cusp of uh, energy well, you are quite energetic towards in general, earth and air. Be grounded, be tolerant, yeah? Assess your situations. Once you inject a bit of positive in your life, positivity in your life, everything will change. Hmm? Once you have dropped all your troubles, behind and corrected the path that you're on in terms of making peace with your family who have been affected or the loved ones in your life who have been affected 
right? Everything will fall into place. And as I could see in your future, you will get what you want in your creative field, in your finances, as you wish. Okay? So I thank you guys for energy for tuning in for your reading. I hope you tune in again next time. Until then, I love you, thank you, and God bless.